Chinese Navy, the road to aircraft carrier warships beyond dreams China, a superpower, is rapidly rising in naval power and ranks second in the world, second only to the United States. However, China's ambitions go far beyond this. The latest reports show that China has begun building its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, marking the beginning of a new era. Let's dive into this exciting military development. China, this ancient yet new superpower, is rising on the international stage at an eye-catching pace. Its naval strength is second only to the United States and ranks as the second largest maritime power in the world. The glory of the past is just the beginning. In the future, the Chinese military will no longer be limited to the country, but will move towards a broader international stage. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy possesses the resources to field up to six aircraft carriers and ten nuclear ballistic missile submarines by 2030. China's navy could nearly double in just eight years, resulting in a vastly more capable naval force than the one it fields today. Given the right spending priorities, Beijing could build at least two more aircraft carriers and four more ballistic missile submarines. According to a new think tank report on Beijing's ongoing military expansion. Recently, it was reported that China is making every effort to promote the construction of its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, marking a new stage for the Chinese Navy in the field of modern military construction. As the world's second largest maritime power, China's military strength cannot be underestimated. This move is not only due to the needs of national defense and military construction, but also a strategic plan to maintain the smooth flow of important maritime economic and trade channels and protect national interests. The ambitions of the Chinese Navy will be fully reflected in future development. In the future, the Chinese military will no longer be limited to the country, but will move towards a broader international stage. The rapid development of the Chinese Navy is inseparable from the active research and development and construction of modern ships. Among these, the construction of aircraft carriers is particularly important. As China's interests in the world continue to expand, ensuring the smooth flow of important maritime economic and trade channels has become a top priority. Experts generally believe that two ships are not enough, three ships will be the guiding ideology of China's aircraft carrier construction. Six aircraft carriers will provide sufficient strategic backing for the Chinese Navy. The construction of China's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier has begun. After hard work, China has made great progress in aircraft carrier technology and technology. The production of the Fukien ship marks China's aircraft carrier construction reaching a new height, laying a solid foundation for China to demonstrate its confidence and strength on the international stage. With the rise of China's nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, the Chinese Navy plans to have six aircraft carriers by 2030. This not only means that China will have strong maritime combat capabilities, but also demonstrates China's sense of responsibility and responsibility for international security and maritime affairs. The nuclear-powered aircraft carrier will become an important part of China's aircraft carrier battle group and will be equipped with advanced stealth carrier-based aircraft to provide strong support for the Chinese Navy's maritime operations. The development of the Chinese Navy is not limited to the Western Pacific. Their aircraft carrier battle groups will move to the Pacific and Indian Oceans to contribute to the maintenance of international peace and security. In the competition with the world's powerful enemies, the Chinese Navy's aircraft carriers will continue to improve their performance and quality and narrow the quantitative gap with the US Navy. In the future, the development of super-nuclear-powered aircraft carriers will become an important development direction of the Chinese Navy, laying the foundation for China to play a more important role in world naval affairs. Regarding this series of developments, I personally believe that the modernization of the Chinese Navy is a natural step and is also the need of the international situation and national security. As a world power, China plays a more active role in maritime affairs which is a move that conforms to the trend of history. However, in the process of development, China needs to continue to uphold the principles of peace, justice, fairness and non-discrimination, promote the construction of a more just and reasonable international order, and make greater contributions to global peace and stability.
The birth of China's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Chinese Navy has been actively developing and growing to safeguard national security and interests. In order to meet the needs of its growing global influence and maritime economic and trade channels, China has decided to accelerate the construction of aircraft carriers. Military experts generally believe that China's guiding ideology is that two ships are not enough, more than three ships are not enough. Some people even put forward the theory that six ships are enough. As China's aircraft carrier construction continues to advance, current plans show that China plans to build six aircraft carriers in the next few years. The first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier has begun construction in Dalian while Shanghai has begun construction of the Fuken ship's sister ship. The modernization of the Chinese Navy not only marks the rise of China as a superpower, but also means that China will play a more active role in international affairs. In the future, the Chinese Navy will continue to grow and make greater contributions to maintaining world peace and security. We look forward to the rise of this force and hope that China can jointly build a more prosperous and harmonious world with a peaceful and cooperative attitude. The completion of the Fukien ship marks that China has mastered the most advanced aircraft carrier technology and technology, becoming the largest aircraft carrier country after the United States. Behind this achievement is that the Chinese Navy has learned lessons from other countries. Unlike France, which chose to apply a nuclear-powered submarine system to its aircraft carrier, China insists on independently developing a dedicated nuclear power system to provide powerful power support for its aircraft carrier. The successful use of the nuclear-powered icebreaker Zulong-3 has also provided valuable experience for China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier project.